Bonjour everyone and welcome on in. Today I'm going to teach you how to install everybody's favorite Photoshop Illustrator and InDesign Alternative Affinity by Canva and we're going to do so in Linux. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. First things first, you're going to need to open a browser. I've got Firefox right here and you're going to navigate to affinity.studio in the address bar. Up at the top, click on the green Get Affinity button. You're going to need to sign in or create an account to get Affinity. Unfortunately, now that it's free, it's just something you gotta do. It takes like two seconds once you create your account. Sign into it. I'm already signed in. Once you sign in, you'll be greeted with this download affinity page where you can choose to download the Mac OS version or the Windows version. You're going to need to download the Windows version for this to work. Make sure that you get an exe file where it says Windows Intel slash AMD. That'll actually download an MSIX version and that's the wrong one. So go down here to the enterprise version and click on that. That will download the exe. Once that's downloaded, we'll need to download a version of Wine called Elemental Warrior Wine. This is the compatibility layer that will allow us to run certain Windows apps within Linux. I'm going to provide the link to do so in a text document that you can follow along with and copy and paste from. It'll be attached in the description of this video. So go check that out now if you'd like to follow along. For now, I'm going to download that by putting in the URL into my browser and hitting enter. And that is downloaded. One more thing we need to do in our browser before we can leave it. We actually need to download the Lutris script to actually install Affinity by pasting that URL in there. And then once it goes to the GitHub page, Go to the right side where it says download raw file and click on that. And there you go. You can now close your browser. Next, we need to install wine and wine tricks for this to work. To do that, we'll need to use terminal commands. Don't be afraid. They're simple and easy to use. They're all in the text document. I'm using the Debian version of the commands, but I've also included commands for the Fedora and Arch based distros package managers. If you're using Ubuntu, you'll be using the same ones as the Debian users and myself. Open a terminal. I'm going to make the text bigger so everyone can read along at home. First install wine by using sudo apt install wine. Hit enter, put in your nice easy password. And hit enter. As you can see, Wine has a lot of dependencies. You can hit enter here or Y and then enter and everything will install. Give it a little bit of time. This may take a little bit depending on the speed of your computer and your internet connection and various other factors, but it shouldn't take too long to get Wine installed. Next, we need to install wine tricks by doing the same thing. So you do apt install wine tricks and hit enter. Agree to install wine tricks and its dependencies. And you're good in the terminal. We don't need to be here anymore, so you can close out of this. Now, if you don't already have it on your system, we'll need to get a copy of Lutris. To do that, we could always use the same command, sudo apt install Lutris. That's perfectly cromulent. Or we could go into the Discover Store and type in Lutris. You could choose to install Lutris via the system package or flat pack. 
for our purposes right now, I'm just going to download the flat pack version, but either will work just fine. Let that download and do its thing. And once it's done, click on launch. You can close out of discover now. We don't need that anymore. Let it download all of its things on the side here. Let's close Lutris once more real quick. Now that it's got its folder structure created, we're going to need to move the Elemental Warrior Wine that we downloaded at the beginning of this video over to the Runners folder so that Lutris can use it. Do note the flat pack and system package versions do have different directories that things need to go into and those are noted in the text file that's attached to this video. Just remember which version of Lutris you installed as it's important to know which folders to put the files in. Open your file manager of choice, find the Elemental Warrior Wine tarball, double click on it. Then in your file manager of choice, navigate to the runners folder for Lutris by typing in tilde and then putting in the path noted in the text document relative to the version of Lutris you installed. Right click, create a new folder, call it wine. Go into that wine folder. Now from arc, click and drag the top of the file tree here, alt tab, and drop it into that folder we just created. Once it's done extracting, you're good to go. You can close whatever your file manager of choice is and arc. You could also do it another way by clicking on extract and putting in the directory there. Do whatever makes you feel comfortable. Next comes the fun part, actually installing Affinity. Open up Lutris again. From the top left of the Lutris window, click on the plus sign. Click on install from a local install script. Next to script file, click on the three dots to browse. Find the YAML file for Affinity. That's the install script. Select that and click OK. Click install in the top right. Click install on the right side again. Now you can decide where you want to install it, if you want to have a desktop shortcut, an application menu shortcut, etc, etc. I'm going to customize it a little bit by taking out Suite, and also it's not a game, so I'm going to change it to be in an Apps folder. Once you're good with your setup, click on Continue in the top right. Now you're going to need to find the setup file for Affinity. From this text input box, click on the three dots. Find the exe file that we downloaded. Select that and click OK. Once you've done that, on the top right, click install. This will download everything that's needed. When the wine mono installer pops up, just click install. That's fine. That's normal. Let it do its thing. It'll create a prefix and everything you need. And once Wine is done configuring its prefix, the script will run. And when the script is finally done, Affinity should be installed. So give it a moment, depending on the speed of your computer, etc., etc. This may take some time. Be patient. You'll be greeted with the Affinity Installer. Just click on Install and let it do its thing. Setup completed successfully, you can click on Close. And the script will be finished. You can click on Close now. A little bit of house cleaning. You can see it put some icons on my desktop that I told it I did not want. But hey, here we are. Just erase those. As you can see, it looks pretty darn bland right now with no artwork. So pop open your browser. I've included two links for some icons and some covers. They'll take you to the Affinity on Linux GitHub page in which you can download covers 
and icons. Simply download the icon covers and banners you'd like, similar to how you were downloading things before. Click on the file name from the list on the right hand side. Download raw file. Click on that. And again, for the covers and banners, let's get the banner. Download and the cover. Download. Now you can close out of your browser. Right click on the blank space on Affinity Suite. Click on configure. In the boxes at the top, click on the first one and select the cover image. On the second one, the banner image. And the third one, the icon. Now, when you save this, it's going to look so much nicer in your Lutris. Now we're almost ready to start using Affinity, but there's a little bit left to go. Right click and go to configure once more. Change the name from Affinity Suite. That's the old name to Affinity by Canva. And change the identifier to Affinity Canva. Under the Game Options tab, change the executable directory to drive underscore C slash program files slash affinity slash affinity slash affinity dot exe. Save again. And now you're done. There's only one thing left to do actually run Affinity and see if it works. So click on it and click play or double click on it. It should load up just fine. Beauty. I'm going to uh, select a blank template here just for funsies. You know, A1, here we go. Maximize this. And now we should be able to draw to our heart's content or do other things. Look at that. A nice happy face with a little bit of a tongue sticking out. Aw yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to share it. Leave me a comment. I love to see those. I'll see you in the next one.